Yeah. No, I, uh, I get migraines. So I get a bunch of headaches. <laughs> I hate Kinky, so I put Kinky in the bottom. The chemicals are not that great. So, who's complete your cryptography? Something secret. I'll probably return the previous one and the, and this one at the same time. So now we need to speed up a little bit to have the end of semester a little less stressful and more relaxing. So we are accelerating right now a little bit. Um, so, uh, oh, first I'll yeah. collect or do you know, I don't know, because I go to Starbucks and I don't want to need it, or a small cup. Oh, you're going to get a towel. I'm going to stop. No, I want a small cup. I did it tall and then went grinding on the Yeah. Yeah. Can I get to this one? Do you want some balls? Oh, oh, that's like a little tummy stick. Uh, you go, I want you to go to the abs and get to the abs. Just wrestle there. And they're like... How like what was dot three things? Was it like dry, wet? Was it good zero? There's a zero bar. And it's no, it's it's how much it's how much you have to do. It it I'm like so dry you have no like all the set wet and soft. Yeah, I mean, so it's got to be so. Yeah, but they're all the different, like, no, they're all different. Maybe it's like a list of how important they are to you. I think people have never done that for a Okay, here's my question. It is almost personal. Yeah, I think it's like a cigarette. And because a pack of beer is far too at the bottom, I feel like it would be helpful with it. Because I'm sorry, the pack of cigarettes. Sure. We didn't learn about the other uh, uh, Okay, so you yeah. have uh, I think last place we had cigarettes. I think this so is. So there, uh, there is a chance that. Um, Someone will get I don't think his or her own work for a while people reading, like bananas, so then please exchange his own work. Well, you guys are actually only maybe money. Oh, it's good. Okay, I've got one. Here's the next question Is bananas actually bananas or not? I don't think that whoever. Don't try. If you do, if you want to be a person who's not speaking, you're not. If they're too much about bananas, you should be. I think that that person is being silly. Oh, damn. I know, which made me silly. Yeah, right? Because, like, all your backgrounds on Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, 14 out of 15 of my backgrounds are Star Wars. Oh, okay. There's one that's a pretty small one. Wow. We should have looked on the schedule. What other classes have? Uh, yeah. No. No. I'm a social experiment <laughs> class. I seriously think so. Like, <laughs> they're recording they a lot of Okay, now here's the next question. By law, they can't do that okay, without assigning a weight. No, we're on private property. No, but they can't use it. Like they can't the use the information to get that without us sending a waiver. <laughs> and then if we send a waiver, then we're all going to be like, yeah. <laughs> no one signs it now. <laughs> so uh, here are the numbers for, for the grades. Um, how can I surprise you? You will not have the lunch. Because we will, we will have homework grading, next uh, homework, and discussing of the uh, individual research projects. And when, when we are done, time will be over. So whatever was planned as, as a lecture will be over for the, for the uh, Monday. Right? And I will try to speed up through this uh, grading and spend more time on the research project. So the uh, question number one is if 
you were attending class materials, then for uh, creation operator, it is lower sub diagonal field with uh, square roots, right? And the annihilation, you just uh, transpose this one and you get the upper sub diagonal field by, uh, by this uh, square root. So main diagonal is zero on both, and uh, sub diagonal is here. So if you see something like this, give full credit, even if uh, things are a little more tense. Uh, analyze obtained matrix elements. Well, if there are right keywords like sub diagonal zero non zero, also give full credit. You know, uh, you don't be too critical. So for both operators uh, in matrix form, diagonal elements are all zeros. First sub diagonal is non zero and filled with square roots of index, but it is a lower sub diagonal for creation and upper sub diagonal for annihilation. And all other elements are as zeros. V number three should be worth of large credit and we didn't go through the things too much in the class so it was a challenging thing and maybe uh, some of this will, will be covered very soon in a different details so <clears throat> if you do not see much but or if when completing this homework you had problems about this question number three one starts this definition of a dagger and A as linear combination of for position and momentum, and then solves it inversely. So just adding and subtracting. And um, what you are expected to see is that if the creation and annihilation are added together uh, as Are added together, then with the right constant, if you be position operator, here k dagger plus k, <coughs> and if you have a, a subtraction of them with uh, imaginary unit factor, if you be momentum operator. So um, this is most important step, maybe not. Uh, complicated, give something a little bit of, above 10, like 12 if you have this completed. The rest is uh, just plugging in these uh, definitions. So if one wants potential energy, then one just needs the position operator squared and you multiply the constant and then have this position squared and uh, you cannot you need, you need to keep all four terms because um, order of the operators matters and if you want to convert position squared into potential energy you just do the definition mass frequency squared over two times position squared and then you can identify a little discovery then uh, mass disappears and the potential energy is proportional to some constant in frequency. And then there is a, this uh, linear combination of pairs of operators. So it should be, like if, if, you, if you go up to, up to here is plus six. Same thing for, for momentum. Um, you just make square of it uh, for here, here, I was reading. So p square over 2 m again, um, it is interesting that the factor is the same, the negative sign pops up due to imaginary unit, 
and uh, there is a combination of, of same pairs of parameters, but two middle ones have different signs. And if you add them together, the uh, terms of creation squared and annihilation squared cancel. And we have only creation times annihilation and annihilation times creation. And this minus and this minus compensate each other. So, six. <coughs> and if you get to this point and do not get to this one, give all but one points. How do you get from yeah. there to the like the normal definition? I am not going to show it right now. It is important. It is very serious. Yeah. But um, we it will be a lecture instead of grading. But yeah. um, there, um, one can derive the uh, conversion from this line to this line by its um, several ways. So it, it's not affecting gradient. If you you will cover it again in, in more detail. So first way through known commutation of position and momentum. So if you um, replace these things back in terms of position and momentum, you'll see that their commutation will pop up here, and you know how the, the commutation is uh, equal to uh, i <coughs> times h bar. Yeah. I mean, this is correct, but, but very, very uh, long and serious. Right. Second, yeah. uh, express uh, operators in the form of, uh, uh, in matrix form, in direct form. Multiply, use uh, snake hunting mice, and identify that they will be. Uh, <clears throat> you, you, just, you just come up with, with a constant term nature. Third way, ex express these two things in matrix form. Just take these two matrices, multiply them, one order, another order, and see how they differ. And um, Fourth way, look back when we were setting up these operators to represent the commutative plus constant that appears from the commutation. So in some sense, this uh, uh, total energy equals to this equation was declared at the very beginning. I know it is not very fair. It's well, not yeah, equation, but, um, so I mean, I could get to that way if I didn't go through the yes, yes. middle one first, but. Um, this is full credit, even if you do not get there. Enough? This one. Probably it's not the most fair. Um, Okay. In order to complete all, all these questions, this this relates to the to the thing that London was, was asking. So one is that uh, um, a a dagger when the, the, the plus or dagger sign uh, stays in the second place would be a dagger a plus one. So this this one is bigger than this one. And this is thing that it will be my responsibility to repeat again and again in, in, in the in the class. But uh, this is the only cornerstone. To, uh, to roll further. The rest is based based on this. So if you subtract them in one order or another order, you get either one or minus one. Right? If you use the um, commutation between operator of energy and annihilation. You 
are pulling the factor of front, you are noticing that any operator commutation with a constant will be zero, right? Therefore, we uh, do not have trace of this one half here. And here we have, again, if, if we are not watching on the screen and only listening, it will be A plus A, 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 A plus A. So the only difference is the order. And in order to, with purpose, to subtract these two things from each other, we need to have the order of operators with and without dagger to repeat. So we need to swap these two things and pay some price for it. And we can do it. We can swap the order, and the price will be to add a term. And this part is replaced by this one. Right? And then we are having this term which repeats first and second term repeat each other and the last one uh, has the operator only in the first power. Right? It appears from this constant multiplied by, by this operator. <coughs> and when these two uh, cancel each other, we have the value of, of commutation. Um, so, please give benefit of all of the doubt. If there, there was some, even if the main um, identity was missed, but a fair attempt to just write operators in different order was committed, give um, like 60% of credit, and otherwise we will uh, suffer. Uh, second thing is, is made similar way, but uh, why should we, why do we suffer? Who needs it? Is it just academic practice to learn some uh, non-necessary non things? No. The benefit of the thing will be um, there will be a benefit for in the Heisenberg equation of motion for expectation of value of position and momentum, where we need to make commutation between Hamiltonian and, uh, and operator. So it's needed need for H E O M. So repeat steps one to two for x. Let's go back. So x is this factor square root of uh, h bar over two and omega times a dagger plus a. So um, so you add together matrices, you put uh, this factor each one omega and write square root of 1, square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 3. So you make it a tree diagonal, where main diagonal is 0, and upper and lower sub-diagonal sub are square roots, and the factor up front uh, is this um, dimension constant, this h bar and 2 and all the h bar. So if you see attempt to this uh, direction, what do you assign? Ten. For extra credit for potential, and uh, we do not have time to go through the material, but uh, it is expected that second sub diagonal will be non zero. If you see matrix form where uh, second sub diagonal is non zero, it is enough to. One, two, three, and the rest are zeros to uh, avoid it with, with credit. So 
please go forward with uh, adding together. I'm going to collect and then uh, we'll go through the um, research projects in the Romanian units. Any, any questions? Are you grading the extra credit? Hmm? Are you grading the extra credit? Or how's that going? If um, they attempted, they and got some of the uh, two non zero lines oh. on each side. Mm -hmm. Well, many thanks for your commitment to uh, this. The least pleasant part of the course. Uh, it is um, the reason why most of researchers do either experiment or computation rather than pure theory. So, we will have either one, two, or maybe only one who works more because we need to uh, focus on the uh, research projects and the next homework will be purely computational, not web. And um, in some sense, it will be just repeating what Austin presented in his uh, extra credit presentation. This may be a little bit more detailed. So, setting up a harmonic oscillator and see how the main observables behave uh, in time. So, we'll use the last round of the software you gave us for the code? Yep. Um, well, um, from now on, we are not going to change the software much. We, will, we are going to change only the line that is responsible for uh, <coughs> the um, V capital, for the potential. And uh, in free space, it is zero. In better, it is a step. If it is um, oscillator, you just put Position minus equilibrium squared and put this uh, h bar frequency over 4. And then you play this uh, initial conditions. And uh, some of you have already discovered that answer depends much on the step of the uh, increment in, in the discrete space. So if you want to increase precision, you always have this opportunity to time step smaller and space step uh, smaller. Okay, so tonight, if you would like to come at five, I will go very in, in much details, step by step. So basically, I, I will do this homework myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, invited to join or to watch the recordings if uh, people do want. Okay. The goal of the class is to finally serve to interpret or predict outcomes of experiment, observance. So this should be the skills that we are accumulating in class should be able to uh, help in understanding what is going on in a range of realistic systems that are, that are being investigated in uh, <coughs> chemistry. So, uh, wet chemistry lab, characterization lab, and uh, related um, errors. So, 
I'm going to go over about a dozen possible projects. Right now, you do not need to choose. Uh, I'm uh, giving you time to develop your own opinion to uh, that seeds develop roots. And uh, next week, we will uh, practice democracy with a list where you will either check what you like or write your own subject. So no action from your side is required. Just sit back, go uh, back, relax, and uh, watch. So the main hypothesis that uh, we all are going to admit that most of the projects, most of the problems in modern chemistry, physics, and natural sciences can be represented as quantum particle moving in one dimensional space. This is quite an approximation, but in many cases, uh, all unnecessary degrees of freedom can be traced over. Um, and if you have in mind uh, chemical reaction, these molecules are really hard, many degrees of freedom, but you always had in, uh, had in thinking about reaction coordinate, which is one dimension. So we are following the same paradigm. But how does reaction coordinate should look like? It will be, so it is one, maybe two lines in the code, but it will be your creative and challenging part. So in, in, in uh, most cases, you'll just change one line and the rest will be standard thing. But it is very important step. So no one will change this line instead of you. And uh, as nicely you set it up, the nicer your uh, research will be in, in, in the project. So um, what I'm going to show will be there will be no um, colorful, high quality pictures. It will be hand scratching of, of different shapes and explanation <laughs> where they can be related. So, and um, you will see a couple of uh, links to YouTube. Those are recordings from students from previous years. So um, I will distribute these materials, and uh, if you have nothing to do, you can click and watch what others were doing, but it's not necessary. I'm sure you will do better. So, if instead of free space, you have a slope, continuous slope, it is either gravitation or electric field if it acts on electric, right? So um, this was already done by, by someone, but if you apply a model like double well potential that corresponds to dimer, donor acceptor, or electron and the molecule in presence of electric field, this will be um, electrochemistry model of reducing and oxidizing. So first you draw a potential, and then you add a constant slope that changes one or other way, and then you see um, reducing or oxidizing range. One option, if uh, you are looking through amorphous materials, conjugated polymers, or uh, amorphous means uh, instead of wetting material to slowly crystallize from a mud, you rapidly put it has non-crystalline values with lots of defects. And these defects can have lower and lower uh, local dips of potential that will trap charges. No one was selecting it, but it is an opportunity. Another one, if you are looking on the simple harmonic oscillator, and you know several representations of what uh, chemical and physical implementations can be. And instead of one Gaussian, you prepare two. And see how, whether they will interact with each other. They shouldn't. But when they touch each other, one can observe um, something attractive. This is related to photo information and training the guy. So, dimer, 
state one, state two, or react and product double level potential that you can implement as a either approximately a square boxes or continuously with uh, force order polynomial um, by tailoring it as um, in boxes you just set this constant and with if you do polynomial it is a little uh, harder work but you can tune the depth and width of these parameters to realistic chemical reaction to activation barrier and then see the transition from React into product and see how quickly does it go, does it go 100% or not. You can find the yields. Um, if you recognize the initials AP, then um, some of, of this prompt may help you to choose uh, your possible research project as it uh, may. Uh, be related to the work that you do for, for the research. If you have ball and spring, you can just touch it, make it to ball. But if you have a microscopic, I mean, nano size interatomic distance, and you want to launch it to ball, how do you do it? How, how do you excite? Uh, um, oscillations of of a mode, loop or motion. Either if you if you're not if you if you forget about thermal activation, one can apply infrared laser for the purpose, which means PLV body oscillations again slope. And if you apply slope to harmonic function, it will mean that if you move uh, the equilibrium position to the left and to the right. Um, in a harmonic way. So it will be launching, kicking the um, vibration in the, in the molecule with infrared laser. So this is introduced right now, but uh, there will be a few slides after this, but it is most complicated, most challenging, and it is a maximal level of complication in, in, the, in the course, in the class. Good selling points. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, um, some of the previous um, subjects were never picked by previous generations, but this one, in spite of these seven points, were chosen. Um, so, what do these two intersecting parabolas mean? It means that 60 years ago, um, Rudolf Marcus got Nobel Prize, which tells that even these very simple models that one can solve this pen and paper, one can be rewarded and be helpful to the chemical community. And more scientifically, if you have diatomic or something more complicated, we have potential energy as a square potential. But at the very, very first meeting, we told that we discussed that it doesn't need to be square, it can be any shape. So this potential energy surface as a function of interatomic distances for the ground state. But if you change electronic configuration of the mode, if you excite the excited state. Electronic, not vibration, not quantized vibration, but electronic. Or a charge is getting transferred from one side of a molecule to another side. It creates dipolar force, dipolar attraction energy, and it contributes a lot to interatomic force. So change of electronic configuration changes potential energy surface. So in ground and excited state, or in neutral and charged transfer states, the potential energy surfaces have different curvatures, different shape, and different equilibrium position. So chemical reactions such as charge transfer are also accompanied by nuclear reorganization, by uh, motion of the, of the uh, quantized vibrations which have different potentials. And one can merge it all together and produce some realistic problem. So this uh, area is most uh, competitive 
uh, has largest chance to uh, seed into competitive peer review publication in the future. So the rest are more trained. This is something uh, so. Well, examples. What can be different in autonomous states? For example, if you do, you take an organic, right? You will one day. Yeah. So, um, and in, in organic chemistry, this very frequent motif that you have a metal ion surrounded by um, ligands. Yes. If there will, would be no chemists around, I would say organic, and then say some non-respectful word. <laughs> organic stuff. <laughs> so respectful word is ligands. And um, there are molecular orbitals on swing states corresponding to localized either on metal one or on ligands. And when the, these systems, the organic complexes, experience photo excitation, then uh, there are possibilities for transitions from orbitals that are localized on metal to orbitals that are localized on ligands, or otherwise, from ligand to metal. These, th they have uh, different optical properties, they have diff they, um, may induce contraction or complete dissociation of, of a molecule. And those are types, examples of types of electronic states which will have different potential energy surfaces. So if you are uh, dreaming about metal-organic complexes in your dreams, or if you are already doing some of them in your uh, research, you may select those and understand that it is like, like neutral and then L, M, C, T state. What are their potential surfaces? Okay. Um, well, I have a graduate student who works on uh, projects like, like this and he could um, help to those who don't find it. So it's just one of the examples. So instead of metal organic complex, it is a semiconductor uh, quantum dot made of the uh, one of the most hot topics in uh, today's photovoltaics, so-called uh, wet halide perovskite. And instead of being homogeneous, one lead atom is replaced by, by a transition metal magnesium. And then this system is experiencing several types of excitations. And each of those change the um, potential energy surfaces. So, some of the pro in some, for some of the projects, you can request help from uh, colleagues. Enough of this. Not boring? Okay. I'm already tired. I'm too, too excited myself. It's more interesting and more exhausting than pure nature. So, no one was protesting that we can have intersecting potential energy surfaces for ground and excited state. But, three, all one slide before, two slides before, three slides before, both potentials were, in physics language, conservative. They were returning stuff to the equilibrium position. <coughs> It is too narrow sighted. As chemists, you know, sometimes potentials are not returning to anywhere. They are there are dissociated potentials. We don't have stuff to explode. Or just boring burning. Or just diso some dissociated reactions. Right? So there are uh, reactions such as um, promoting from ground to excited, you change the potential energy surface so drastically that molecule becomes instable and bond is broken. <coughs> there is a person who would be happy to advise and help. Now, Dan is uh, challenging and uh, Quite common. 
almost done. It's changing parts and going to most traditional, most uh, typical, and probably the easiest parts of, of the projects. I do not have uh, much of YouTube's because it was done in the most of the volunteers for this project were acting in uh, 2011, and they didn't figure out how to record. So, if you just set reaction and product as uh, energy of reaction, energy of product, energy of the variable, bits of the variable, and you do not need to make it conservative on the edges. You can just make short time dynamics, uh, restricting yourself with a time for a single pass. And then, depending on the relative energy of reaction and product, you can have either endothermic or exothermic reaction. And if you are having in mind a reaction that you like, that you do for research, or you were just uh, reading science fiction, or something that launches your imagination, you can try your best to either guess, find from literature, or just copy from a textbook these parameters, set them up in the potential, and then the exploration, every, the only thing that you will be doing, only the most thing that you will be doing, inspecting how the initial kinetic energy of the wavefront results in the probability of transmitting from one to, to another side. So, U to fraction and rate of fraction as function of initial temperature. If the temperature, if the kinetic energy is enough to overcome the barrier, the yield and rate will increase. If not, it will either tunnel or nothing will happen. So, most or all uh, individual projects will fit into this uh, product. So one can imagine some uh, hyperbolic combustion of rocket fuels or I'm not going to inspect your what, what is inside your brains because you, you can have some very productive and, and uh, crazy and positive sense ideas what, 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 what to order. Uh, if the product is higher in energy and activation energy is high, but you can relate it to catalysis reaction where, where um, you may induce lowering of, of the barrier by another degree of freedom by, by changing the conditions. So you keep the same energy of uh, kinetic energy of initial state, but then you inspect the um, modification of the height of the barrier, which means that you can edit or not edit uh, catalyst. If there were some examples. Uh, by the way, if, if you look on the examples, they will they can be long, as long as nine minutes. Here in this class, probably we will try to stay within three minutes, or we need to request a uh, special day and special time, which I'm not sure that your busy schedule would, would allow. So tentatively, we will try to oral presentations three minutes, unless you um, contact me personally and majority request that we need a special day. So, I'm not yet over time, right? Yes, two minutes, good. So, before now, the reaction coordinate was more related to interatomic nuclear distance or abstract, abstract reaction coordinate. When we did start this model, and in the very first uh, options about electrochemistry. The coordinate was true Cartesian position of an atom. So there is a broad range of possible projects where we, can, we consider not a reaction coordinate of uh, or in interatomic distances, but true position of electron in Cartesian space with mass of electron unchanged. So then we have uh, dips corresponding to ions which attract uh, electron height or vacuum around where electron doesn't want to see, and then electron will migrate between ions or distribute between them. And then there is a 
broad opportunity to first pull the information from quantum chemistry, from atomistic data. And again, I can assign you a helper who will do it for you. So it's not, not your part of the project. So this can uh, describe thin film. This can describe the um, interface of thin fields of different materials, planar solar cells. This can uh, describe disensitized solar cell or semiconductor and uh, a molecule, pair of donor and acceptor molecule, and here is another helper for semiconductor and dye molecule where charged migrates from substrate to a molecule. So substrate set of atoms here, molecule, maybe deeper potential uh, at other space region. And here it just access goes, goes here. If you need to go, that's fine. Um, and most of this cover. Uh, fun stuff. <laughs> uh, remember at um, very beginning of the course, you saw uh, visualization of Bohr models. So the code that you're practicing, this one dimensional propagation, has purely boundary conditions. So we can consider it as a ring with um, rotations, probability of staying, staying at a different angle. And then one can identify if the integer number of uh, nodes or non-integer num number of nodes will satisfy its Bohr condition. What will happen if it, it doesn't satisfy? This was done once, but uh, to make it more interesting compared to past, one can add a magnetic field and see like the zim and splitting. If you if you're looking for something new. Okay, what else? Oh, there is another code that I, I, I can share about for nuclear magnetic resonance, uh, spin echo and free induction decay, but it will be different code. If you are um, just not satisfied with simple assignment as everyone, I can make your life harder. <laughs> That's it? No, there was one, one more. Where it is, where it is. I have forgotten, there, there was another fun stuff. Okay, I'll email or include the list. Okay, end of the lecture number 33, which was not a lecture but discussion session. Uh, everyone is welcome to attend evening session on uh, floor number eight. And if your schedule doesn't allow it, then have a nice Veterans Day and, and uh, see everyone on the Monday. Did you got an idea what could be of interest for you? Yeah, well, I mean, out of the ones that you showed right there, the one that probably interests me the most was either the combustion or the one dealing with NMR, just because, of, well, NMR I've dealt with a lot and kind of have an understanding of how it works, but yeah, there you go. Otherwise, uh, I also have another idea. Like, I was talk I was kind of asking you about it before, and it was with dealing, dealing with electron in a box. Uh -huh. uh, and just kind of expanding on that. I don't really know how to explain it in a short amount of time, but could I send you like a proposition Absolutely. and Please. see if it works with what you're looking for mm -hmm. in the research projects? Yep. Cool. Then I'll do that at some point. Okay. I don't know when, but <laughs> I have it all in my head. I don't know if it's too... I don't know. Simple, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
so I might get shut down on that, but it's still dealing with code and like changing up previous code, so. Yeah, I, I would be very curious to. Okay, cool. I'll send it out if you like.